Hi guys, welcome back here at Jinflix. So here's another video. Thanks for coming back on my channel. So let's go. So for today's video, I actually thought about this topic because way back in my college years, I was fortunately invited to be one of the guest speaker on our committee team, so organization namin. And this is actually the topic that was given to me. So this actually talks about time management. So for this video, um, I will be providing you or giving you four tips, four tips on how I manage my time efficiently. It's actually based on my personal um, personal experiences. So hopefully if it works for you, just let me know. If it's not, um, let me know then because, you know, every one of us has different pacing, a different approaches in life especially in time but hopefully this one if you're actually thinking what are the possible things that can help you possibly uh, manage your time efficiently hope this tips will going to be beneficial to you guys so the very first one that i will be telling you is to have your own calendar so that calendar will depend on you on what is more effective. So it could be digital like your phone, kung pwede kayong gumamit ng Google Calendar or the traditional one to have your own planner. Or also if you don't want to have your own planner, just have your own notebook, notepad, or anything that you can actually put everything na nandun yung mga activities nyo in life. So in my case, I actually have or using my Google Calendar and I also have um, the traditional one, a planner. And also, I do have another notebook. I know it's a lot because you have a update and everything, but it would really depend on you. Basta, what's important is you have everything listed to make sure that all your schedules are fixed. You could actually choose whatever format you will be having in my case, I actually like to have my calendar in a monthly view. So, makikita ko, oh, for this month, for the month of October, this week, second week, third week, and fourth week. Parang nakikita ko na, wow, this is, ito pala yung meron akong concert na second week. I have a meeting on the third week. Ayan. So, other than that, you can actually visually see na you have a specific date to look forward to or a deadline so some people would actually do daily or weekly so whatever is perfect for you what fits for you you have to be adaptive at it. just list everything ahead of time para makikita mo yung mga dates na open for you and what are the dates that are full schedule already Second is to learn how to prioritize urgent and non-urgent matters. So especially to us, like we are adults, um, of course, one of our priorities would be work. But other than that, of course, we also have a life after work. That's what is work-life balances. For example, this one is in my case. Like for APE in our company, kasi we don't really have specific dates, but we were given deadline, which is... By the end of the year. So, siguro around earlier this year, they said na, okay, AP is actually um, open. It depends on you. Basta matapos mo siya by the end of the year. So, in that case, I will look forward on the open dates that I have para mapasok yun. Like for example, in my case, um, I actually have free time within the earlier of this month. Sorry, earlier this year. So, Yon, it's not it's not really that urgent. However, it is important or mandatory in our case. So na isip ko um since I'm actually free at around August, I think August or June or July, I was I do have free open schedule on those days. I will do my APE because for sure, super sure na pagating ng months, my weeks week are actually heavy. Not, not just weekends, um, but measure heavy na siya to fulfill it. So, yes, that's how I actually prioritize urgent and non-urgent things. Third thing, this is actually the tip that 
I really really want to give to you that is to plan fun things ahead so why actually planning things ahead that are fun it actually can lighten your mood especially if it's a hell week why because you're actually looking forward to something fun something you really want to do let's say it's a concert so i will be having a concert by the end of the month so for example super super favorite ko yung artist na yon. and you have a lot of things it feels like a reward like if you've done a lot of things work related school work related then ang pinaka finish line mo is that concert that you are looking forward to other than that personally if example i do have a trip like for example this is month today is monday then i do have an out of town by the weekend saturday sunday i feel more excited to finish my shift other than that i don't know psychologically i feel that every shift within that week is going by fast like kunwari monday na tas natapos na yung shift ay tuesday na pala so four days na lang ganyan ganyan Maga, i'll be having a trip like for example burahay i will be out of town or out of the country so yes that is why also it's kind of very expensive thing to do but i feel less of a hassle because you know i'm actually looking forward to something and this is why probably i always want to find out activities weekend activities events that i can go to para malagay ko na siya sa planner ko and that's why a lot of my friends would say na napaka gala ako because every week i do have something to go to something to do that is like actually my stress reliever because um every job every job that we have especially that we are adulting like kenyan or like me as a student working student major stressful talaga if you're just focusing on work 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 that's why i really want to make sure that every week kung hindi man is i have something to do that's one thing that i really really recommend is to a lot of things that will be that you will be having a lot of fun that can release all the stress because you know as i've said earlier it's like a reward of what you've been doing for the whole past days for the whole past month for the whole past week and lastly this is actually the fourth tip that hopefully can help you manage your time well efficiently that is to set deadlines that are earlier than its real deadline why because it actually will give you a lot of leeway leeway time to make an improvement or if not leeway for your own schedule for example if you have if you're a student you have assignment i would remember in my college years because um we have like three hours three hours per subject but we are only going to see them twice a week monday wednesday siya. then meron kang assignment ng monday but it was due the next week so hindi naman technically Di naman siya technically Wednesday. What I would always do is Monday, instead of the deadline, the next week na Monday, I would give myself three days. Three days or four days. It would depend on your current subject. But um, hypothetically, kung Monday yon ang ginagawa kong deadline would be like Thursday. Thursday or Friday. Why? Because if I mentally put a specific earlier deadline on that one, Kung hindi ko siya matapos, that's fine. Kung hindi ko siya matapos, I still have like weekends, Saturday, Sunday. Or if matapos ko siya, I won't be doing or thinking of anything on that weekend. Kasi tapos ko na siya, which is a win-win situation. So in that case, I will be having an open schedule on the weekends. See how it's, it's going to be a lot easier. But again, but then again, that would depend on your schedule. Diba? Kasi, 
in my case, in in my mindset, at the end of the day, that the mo siya, it's just that you were given a longer duration that you could actually finish it. But if you could actually do it now, you could actually have time to finish it earlier than what is expected. At least you have more time, more leeway time to it's either make an improvements for it, change it, or you know, plan other things than school stuff. So for work, um, we have specific deadlines. We have specific deliverables in a monthly schedule. We have deadlines for first week, second week, and third week. However, the deadlines for the deliverables by the third week can be done by the first week. I try to finish it by that time. Hindi ko na hinihintay na mag third week. Why? Because in our work, kasi it really depends on how busy it is, you will never know kung yung pasok ng workload mo or power, pasok ng orders is, mara, is mala, marami in a day or not. For over the years, that's actually one of my um, but top of the rules that I follow when I'm setting the deadlines on myself. And this actually works out for me. But you know, there are things na pag sobrang dami na nagsabay-sabay, actually we don't want to pressure ourselves in that specific way just to finish things ahead. Kasi nga, yun nga, meron naman tayong specific deadline na mas matagal. So, why are you trying to pressure yourself to finish ahead? And it's not really like, dahil, dahil yun yung nasa utak mo, of course, you need to weigh out things para lang hindi ka rin mabigatan with the responsibility. Okay, so just to sum up the things that I've said, so, um, this is actually, again, this is based on my personal experiences. What are the things that help me to manage my time well, efficiently, and more effective? Na, you know, balancing out things from work to school and personal life as well. So, the very first thing again is to have your calendar, which is, it will depend on you if you're going to use your Google Calendar or Excel sheet or yung traditional na planner or just your notebook as long as you have your um list of things to do na naka sulat na so the second one is to prioritize prioritize what are the urgent and non-urgent things to do and third is to plan fun things ahead guys don't forget that to always plan fun things ahead because that will promote also work-life balance then the fourth one is to have a uh, timetable with an earlier deadline than what is the real deadline. Hopefully guys, um, these tips would actually help you to manage your time well. And if there are other things that you want to share, just put it in, in the chat box or comment or just let me know if it helps you or not or if other things, just feel free. So in that case guys, thanks for watching. For listening to this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe with chin flicks so bye guys thank you for watching